Let's just get back to the dream time. For 60,000 years, what did the dream time mean? And when they could sit around at night around the fire and through the dream time, their spirit could communicate to the spirit of the animals, the spirit of the trees. In nature, all the living things are alive. When the spirit leaves the tree, the tree's dead. When the spirit leaves the body, the body's dead. But while the spirit's there, you communicate to the spirit. So therefore, the spirit of the tree, the spirit of the animals, next day, they'd call the spirit of the animals and the kangaroo, let's just say, would donate us a vehicle. The spirit would move to a higher octave, but the soul was in fight or flight and there's your food. In nature, everything is alive. Water, the trees, everything in nature. And this is how communication came. It was telepathy. Till down the track, men learned to talk. When men, when men learned to talk, he started to lose the ability of the telepathy. It's just like today, you go back in the past, and the ancient Aborigines could levitate off the ground. He could run 100 miles in the day without touching the ground, as his feet would hardly touch the ground at all, as he'd levitate by making his body lighter. Today, we've lost that ability. We even lose the ability to walk great distances because we now use a vehicle. The more we go into this physical molecular world of reality, the less we get away from, the more we get away from, the less we get the ability to use the natural functions of nature. You look at the back of our remedies, you look at a lot of nature remedies, and where they come from originally. Everything in nature is there. There's an antidote for most things created in nature. The old Aborigines of the past, even today, many of them still have secret medicine, but they don't share it. The comment I hear from so many of them is, why tell them they don't listen? Because we live in a society that really has failed to listen to other cultures because it thinks it knows all the answers. In our Western society, we've got to look at our world. You look at where our world is today and what are the results in our world today by going to the external world of reality and getting lost from the internal world of reality. We create this massive imbalance and we have to get back to the balance of understanding the internal world as well as the external world. We go back to nature. You know, we send our meat all over the world. Why won't the Middle East take our meat? The Middle East won't take our meat because they must uh, kill the animal or release the spirit of the animal. When we kill the animal and the meat goes through trauma, that soul has the trauma in it. And that soul can be passed down through the meat that we eat. We have to really get back to understanding nature and how nature really works to find the balance in ourselves for our own future. We go back and look at the trees. Do you realize every tree is alive? Do you realize you can communicate the spirit of a tree? Do you realize you can communicate out of someone's body on the table? It sees everything. There are no more secrets. You'd be surprised what happens in nature and what's happening in nature. You go back to areas where we have dimensions of genocide and those spirits are still stuck in that moment of time of the genocide. That's just not here. That's around the world. You've had wars for thousands of years and you still have genocide in some of those countries that's been active for thousands of years in its own dimension. We access those dimensions and bring them through and those spirits the trauma is if it happened five seconds ago because they are still stuck in that moment of time. And we must enfold time and space upon those dimensions. And we must then change the dimensions of the past to better our future. This is what we teach our students to do around the country. Today, we have students in over 23 countries and clients in about 30 or 40 countries. We have to get back to the old ways to understand the future, if we want to have a future. We're coming to a time where time is going to loop itself. You'll have two choices, being inside time or being outside time. Where you are and the choices you make, they're the choices that's going to be taking you to the new future of when the conjunction takes place.